Well, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? Welcome to Blessed and Beautiful. I know you were like, well, where is she? Here I am. I'm right here. All right. So first, let's address, well, first let's say, hey, hey visitors, how are you all doing? If this is your first time or if you're back visiting again, welcome. Come on in, sit on the front row with all of the Sladies in the Slady Squad. Hey, Sladies. In the Slating Squad, sitting on the front row. How you all doing? Let's let all the visitors have a seat. Let everybody get in, get snuggly, sit down. Make sure y'all got your snacks and your uh uh your 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 drinks, whatever you're drinking, and um your candy, your lollipops, you know your candy bars, bag of popcorn, potato chips. Uh, maybe you're eating dinner. You know, pork chops and onions and gravy, you know, barbecue ribs. Can y'all tell I'm hungry? <laughs> All right, let's get to it. I'm so excited because this is the last, woo! This is the last, 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 it's the last episode, part, whatever you want to call it. It's the last part of my, uh, my eyeshadow collection that I have been doing a week and a half now, y'all. I is tired. So I'm going to tell you about these last... If we run over the 29 minutes, then we just wait for it to start over and collect or something. I don't know. But we're going to get started, okay? All right. So I have my leftover palettes that were in my box here. And then I have all these palettes that just were on the floor. I've been trying to organize palettes since I moved in here. So now I'm ready. I've decluttered some. I am ready. The elephant in the room. What y'all think? So, um, yeah. This is from, okay, so you should have seen the video where I, um, used the socks and did the curls. Okay. This time I didn't wet my hair. I just put some hair milk on it and twist it around the socks and it was curled for like five minutes but then i went outside in that 95 degree what in the world's going on type of weather here in maryland 95 degrees in may Woo! this is what i got so my cousin it's her birthday you know make some noise it's your birthday all right so she said it looks good it's cute and then somebody else came over and said it looks good it's cute so i'm gonna let y'all judge you yeah, know I think it's cute, but I was shocked at what I saw. So I think I thought that I could never have hair like this that's kind of like still got some curls, but went boof, because usually it goes boof and it's nothing. It's just boof. But this, I don't know. It's, it's got, I don't know if I could ever do it again because I did it on accident, but you know, you know, let me know what you think, you know, and, and the color is new too. All right, so. Let me make sure we're rolling, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Are we rolling? Yes, we had three minutes. All right, three minutes, and we starting. Okay, pal number one. I want to buy talk about. It's three minutes, and she still ain't talked about nothing. Here we go, boo, right here. This is the Club Tropicana 28 Color Foil Eyeshadow Palette, and I've had this forever. You all know we went on BH Cosmetics and they would have those palettes with the 58 million colors. And sometimes you would open it and then it would have another section that opened and then that section opened up. Yeah, just like this. Now, I've held on to this because every time I swatch them, they come out beautiful. I mean, like, look at that. And I'm like, I can't get rid of it. But you know what? I didn't use it from the last time I said, I can't get rid of it. Cluttered. All right, moving on to night. We have, oh, yes, yeah, night time. Time to go to bed. Not that late, but almost. All right, now we have Cara Beauty Stroke of Midnight. And I picked this up on a whim. I saw it at Marshall's, got it for $9.99. And I got home and I did this. Whoa, this palette is gorgeous. Drop the palette. Or you'll save it. All right. This palette is gorgeous, y'all. Let me tell you. Did I did I take this off before? I think I wanted to use this and I said, no, I'm going to do a dedicated video because this palm, this palm, this palette is bomb. Yeah, look look forward to this video because this, this is gorgeous. This, I hope it swatches and performs as beautifully 
as it is because this is this is pretty this is pretty i like it all right so we're keeping that all right next let's do these since it's on my arm i want to get this off okay so i have this on my arm i have the violet voss forget me not palette and then the hello kitty ColourPop palette right so y'all know i'm collecting blue palettes that's something that i do collect over everything else blue palettes yes then I got home and I still <laughs> look at that, y'all. I was like, this is the same thing. So let's compare. Violet Voss is on top. Hello Kitty's on the bottom. So this is Violet Voss here. And this is Hello Kitty. These two right here, Violet Voss, and this is the Hello Kitty one. I mean, y'all, these are like the same palette. Violet Voss for these two. Hello Kitty for that one. Yeah, these, these are quite similar. I thought that was funny. I'm going to hold on to both of them because I do collect blue palettes, which belong up here on that shelf. Yeah, let me put this over here too. Blue palettes go up there. All right, I have this um, lingerie collection by Rude Cosmetics. And first of all, I got home and didn't know if, I don't know what I thought. I don't know if I even read the word lingerie. I think I just saw the colors. And I got it and I was like, yo. She ain't got no clothes on. It's okay. I love the colors. They are matte. Every once in a while, I reach for this. But you all know that I now have my um my Blend Bunny palette. But it doesn't have all these colors. So I'm going to hold on to it. It's a nice palette. You know, you build it up. It's got every uh, matte shade that you can think of that's in the rainbow it's in here so yeah we're gonna hold on to this all right that is not rainbow so that has to go here i mean it's not blue i'm sleepy y'all all right high tide high tide i love this palette it is gorgeous the artwork is gorgeous inside these are some of my favorite colors here this is going nowhere i love this they even decorated the inside of the box this this is a nice this is a collectible type of palette right here it's really really nice blue shelf all right next juvia's place olori 2 i got this for my birthday i believe my mommy got it for me it was either birthday or christmas it was very very pretty and i've swatched it several times and i do need to use it but yeah i love it i really really like it blue shelf wet this is the what's his name bretman bretman color pop collab and this is the palette here but my favorite shade is this one right here why that's why do you see that yeah nice palette blue shelf awesome silver though all right next i have the beauty bay berries palette and this just came out because beauty bay said they're going to add more to their whole collection because people were fighting and and scratching and paying high prices for palettes like age of opulence yeah, how much these palettes are like 11 12 13 no more than that right beautiful palettes so yes i got the berries one this is really really nice 16 uh shades i think i paid maybe 15 somewhere in there 11 to 15 something real cheap all right and then i have let me go ahead and talk about that one i have the blue midnight one here and again 16 shades beautiful palette beautiful shades i have used this one before but i don't think i did a video not that i remember but i need to do one because those are those are bomb all right and then also nice square palette here this is the uh queen palette by eloise cosmetics this came in boxycharm everybody was loving this i have not used this in a while but i don't want to let it go i do want to use it um so i'm going to hold on to it because i'm getting rid of a lot of palettes that i was surprised because i already decluttered uh before i moved here so yeah these last ones that are left are ones that i'm just going to have to make sure i sit down and use this here is the um the tinkerbell this is a disney collab this is the tinkerbell palette this palette is bomb not only does it perform well but the whole packaging and everything is 
gorgeous. This is the inside. It's a very luxe feeling palette. It's a little bigger than some of the other palettes, the nine pen palettes that they have. It's a gorgeous palette. Not going anywhere. And because of the artwork, it's on the blue shelf. I, I just had to stick it there because it's beautiful. Here, for my blue shelf, Revolution. This is the Forever Flawless Ice Palette. Looks like this. I like this palette. I love it. It's got a lot of shades and blues and ices and some gold and some silver. Yeah, this is a nice palette. Not going anywhere. All right, let's not make a mess. How about that? Move them back. We don't need any palettes to be on the floor broken. ColourPop Smoke Show. This is now called Blowing Smoke on um, ColourPop. And... I really like this one. Not going anywhere. It looks the same, you know, for it to be called um, Blowing Smoke. I believe it's the same exact palette. Not letting it go. Performs well. I love it as an addition, especially if I'm trying to do a smoky eye. Violet Boss. I love you forever. Beautiful palette. Got this with BoxyCharm. Did a live using this palette. So, I will be doing a live again coming up, like next week, I think. I Heart Revolution, the Marble Rose Gold Palette. I loved this the first time I saw it, and then I got it home. And these shades just, I don't know, it's, it's confusing. I'm just going to show them to you uh, very briefly now so you can see them. And then I'll have to do a video with this because these shades are really weird. That's all I can say. The textures are different. There's a lot of dry ones that are supposed to be mattes, but they just don't perform well. But then the colors are beautiful. I don't know. We'll have to play around with that one. Give me a second. Thank you. Lemonade. All right. This is the Sailor Moon palette, which they call Pretty Guardian which may have something to do with the cartoon. I wouldn't know. I didn't watch it. I got it more or less because I knew of Sailor Moon because my um, daughter watched when she was younger. But when I got this palette home, this palette is gorgeous. This is such a beautiful palette. And these four shades down here, they have a surprising amount of silver glitter that I just was not expecting. I still loved it. It's amazing. I used it the other day. It's very, very nice. Good to go palette by Ofra Cosmetics. This almost went, almost went. I was like, no, I don't use it. But then I opened it up and I was like, yo, this is a beautiful palette. All in one face palette. I mean, if you're just neutral, you could throw this in your bag and this would, you know, this would go well with everything i mean even if you are doing nude but you're going to go glam they got these golds in here this four shades of highlighter and i mean you can intermatch this stuff and probably use some of those shades as eyeshadow so i'm holding on to it for a little bit longer put a beauty smoky obsessions this one is not going to make the cut this time sorry 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 it's a nice palette but i have used and abused it and I have other palettes with nudes in them that I need to use. And so I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Next, this is not an eyeshadow palette. This is just a metal, what do you call this? This is a palette with this metal and you put stuff in it. And I got this originally for these six blushes here. Can't remember the name of the blushes. It's, it's something that has like 64 blushes, something that was big probably like 10 years ago um so anyway i had some empty spaces that i needed for my uh terra moon cosmetics i was so excited i was like i've graduated to terra moons so yeah you you really have to know what you're doing when you're shopping on there because yeah they got sets they got singles they got i mean it's confusing but anyway i got these three this is rain rain of terra and these are these beautiful, whew, beautiful, beautiful multi-chromes, duo-chromes. Yeah, this is called UFO. And then the last one, of course, I had to get a blue one. 
this one is Moon Tie, all by Terra, Terra Moons. And just it just speaks for itself. I, I can't even say anything. I don't even know what to say. It's gorgeous. That's that's about it. These are nice. So yeah, I definitely will be ordering some more of those. Okay, I'm moving right along here. All right, Glamour Me Color Eyeshadow Steb Cosmetics. That's what we have here. This came not too long after the Queen palette. And I was I was kind of upset because I was like, I don't need two palettes that do the same thing. But then I wanted to try the formula. And the formula is amazing. Wow. Okay, on my thumb, that is the turquoise that I just, and that's a matte? Wait a minute, this might, um, this might be making the cut, y'all. These two are shimmers right here. Yeah, okay, let's hurry it up. That almost went, and it's got this deep, dark black in there. Okay, all right, I know this one is going. This is the Wild from... Face candy. I feel like I talked about this one already, but maybe not. If I did, don't count this one twice, only once. Um, here we have shades. Yeah, it's broken down. It's old. I've dipped in every one of them. One I almost pan. Yeah, it's just, it's old. It's very old. That's the only reason I'm letting it go. It, it was a nice palette. And I used it because that was one of my most colorful because that was still when everybody was doing a lot of nudes. And that one came and I was like, look at the colors. Yeah. This is Pastel Tribe. What is this? It's blue stuff everywhere. Pastel Tribe Limited Edition from Blush Tribe, which then became My Alley and then became No More. So this is their palette. I used it a few times. Again, I was trying to find something with color. This wasn't my favorite, um, yeah, this wasn't my favorite formula, and I held on to it because of the colors, but I think I have enough palettes with, you know, these shades, these, like, pastel shades, so I'm going to pass that on. Pure is going, I can tell you that right away, it's very old, I love this palette a lot, got it from um, Boxy Charm, that's the inside, and I'm just letting it go. I don't reach for it anymore. And um, the colors that are there, I'm getting new ones that are those shades, so you know, nothing to write home about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let these go. New to my collection is the Sugar High palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. I was so happy when I got this, and I also have, I'll tell you in a minute which one it is, Indigo Ink. These are gorgeous. And the, the shimmers. Do you all see these? Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I opened this up, and I just sat there and looked at it like, wow. Beautiful shades. That's what I have on my eyes today. Had a ball um, using this palette. I always do. Can't wait to do this on camera for you all. This is going up here because, yeah, pretty stuff goes up there along with the blue, you know. Okay. Next, I have... Okay. Next, I have the Black Mermaid by Black Opal. This is a really beautiful palette, and I finally got control of the palette. This shade right here, this teal color, broke, and it came to me broke, and I pressed it back in, and it was fine, and then it came out again. So I pressed it again. I'm hoping that it stays. All the other colors are beautiful, so this one has to stay out where I can see it so it's not getting bumped around because I don't want that shade to um, fall apart again because I think it's going to cover up all the rest of my other shades and I don't want that to happen. All right, Mulan. This is a Disney collab with ColourPop. Beautiful palette. Looks like this. Haven't used it yet. Keep saying it's a collector's item. 
but I really do want to use it. It's so pretty. The only thing I wish is that I had got the fan. I know that it was a lot of money to get like the whole PR box, but I really just wanted the fan. That fan was gorgeous. All right, so that's that. Then I have this palette from You Can Be off of Amazon. It's called Blue Tonic. Looks like this. And this looks like... Where are you? This goes up here in the blue shelf. I have to... When I come across it, I'll show it to you. It's another palette I have. It looks exactly alike. Um, this is the Jam Rock by Planning Makeup by Yolando. The Jam Rock Extreme Palette. Looks like this. I really wanted the Wani Washa, whatever it's called. The Washi something. Anyway, when that one comes up, you know, back in, I want to get that one. Uh, but this is cute. The other one is very pastel. Very. And I've been wanting to try that formula for a long time. Um, Morphe Cosmetics, and I'm not sure about this one. I kind of feel like I want to let it go because I don't reach for it as much, but this 39S palette has some gorgeous purple shades. It's nothing like any of the other purple palettes that I have, um, so it's not like I have something else that's like this. It's just that I don't reach for it, but... I'm going to hold on to it one more time. Let's see what happens. All right. Now, I'm going to try to show all these at one time. Here we go. These are the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. I have the Cotton Candy. I have the Cherry on top, keeping all of these. And I have the Pistachio one which is the green one. I think this one is my fave, along with the blue one, which is the bubble gum. Very, very nice. And then I also have the orange sorbet. Very nice palettes. I wish that I had the brown one. And every time I come across it, it's on Macari, and somebody's trying to sell it for a billion dollars. So when I find a reasonably priced one, then I'll buy it, but not that one. <laughs> this is Dominique. Cosmetics Transition Palette. This will have to go into a client bag. This is a really nice palette, by the way. It feels kind of luxe. And the mirror on here is amazing. Here are the shades. And of course, I'm not going to use all of these. This is more like if you're looking for a transition shade, if you want to sculpt your eye, if you um, are needing to do a smoky eye. So I haven't used it. But I will put it in my client bag because I think it'll be good for when I do client makeup. Here is the Glam Light Cake Palette. Looks like this on the inside. Beautiful palette. Love this palette. It is gorgeous. Here's Beyond the Sky by Cara Beauty. Looks like this on the inside. And I also like this for spring pastel shades. Here's She Glam the Seafoam Palette. Looks like this beautiful palette makes you work to get a good look out of it. But when you do, it's very pretty. Um, here is the Ice Cream Dream Palette by Glam Light. This is the Pastel Palette. It is so pretty. I love using this palette. I think I've used it four times already this spring. It's so beautiful. Next, I have the Pastels Lilac by Huda Beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Whoa, almost fell. 24. All right. Sorry, I was trying to see how many minutes I had left. 24 minutes. Okay, so this is the, um, the very cute purple pastels, Huda Beauty. My sister gave me this when I didn't get one. I was upset, so she gave it to me. And I was like, thank you. Um, here's On Cloud 9, ColourPop, nice blues. Um, I think I did a look with this already. Here is Blue Moon, which I like to use in conjunction with the On Cloud 9, right? On Cloud 9. On Cloud Blue, sorry, that's what it's called. This one is called Blue Moon. Yes. What else do we have in here? We have Cara Duo. You had me at Aloha. I got this because of the two bottom rows. Look at those blues. They are so pretty. So, yeah. 
What else? I have my Alamar Cosmetics. This is Spanglish. Very beautiful. And Spanglish, probably already know, I said this before, looks exactly like the Hello Kitty and Friends Snowball Palette. How does this look like the Hello Kitty Snowball Palette? Because that's what they made this palette look like. Like, come on. This is not winter. All right, um, get off that soapbox. Been on it plenty of times already. All right, that's it. I'm looking for one other palette. I don't see it. It is the C Note. Is this it? No, that's my. That's it. All right, well, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed me speeding through the last of my palettes. And what I'm going to ask you to do, if you want to be in a giveaway that I'm going to be having, I will give you the end date in a moment. But I need you to count through all my videos what number of palettes do I have that I kept and are in my collection. The person who is closest without going over will win the giveaway. I will show it in a box or something. It's going to be a lot of stuff in there that I need to, you know, let other people enjoy. Um, new stuff, not used. I have some things that you all would like. So, again, how many palettes do I have in my collection in total? You have to go back over all three, all four palettes. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I, um, I want to give you a date. That's what I'm going to do. Let me give you a date. Okay, I found the palette that was missing, and I'm glad that I know my collection enough to know that something was missing. So here it is. This is the Hip Dot palette called C-Note, and this palette, I feel, looks like this palette. So very similar. So that's what I thought of when I looked at these. I was like, hey. Almost the same, not quite, but almost. Very, very similar. So I like these. Those are going on my blue shelf, my little decorative shelf. All right, for the sweepstakes. The sweepstakes will end on June 10th, giving you plenty of time and also myself plenty of time because this week starts graduation ceremonies. We got all kinds of stuff going on from now all the way through graduation, which is June the 5th. And we have people coming in from out of town, so I'm so excited. So I will give us, you and myself, time to go back and make sure we've done all the counts. So by then, June 10th at 11.59 p.m., please post how many palettes you think I have in my collection. If you want to go all the way back through all four videos and count, you can. First person to post without going over will be the winner. And I will tell you about the giveaway later. I just have a lot of things that I want to put together to give out. All right, you all know what we say around here. Whether it is day or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope that it's good. Don't forget to pray because we really need it. And then don't forget to slay. All right, everyone. Bye. Yay, we're done. Woo!